Look, this is one of those dreadful Bombardier beetles. They're terrible. When they land on you, they are... If you upset them, they give off a dreadful smell. I think I read they've got two scent glands or something around their bottom somewhere. No, you don't. And one, I think one is peroxide from hydrogen peroxide or something from one gland. I'm not sure what the other chemical is. But they let off a terrible smell. They're called Bombardier beetles, I think. I'll give you a close-up in a minute. A handheld close-up. I've got it in a bowl at the moment. Like A lot of beetles can't figure their way out how to get out of a bowl, can they? It's a very black beetle. It looks black but normally, but when the light shines on it at certain angles, it's got a green hue, green metallic hue. Turn around. Show us your best side. Anyway, they do... Oh, they, they get around more at night time, really. And they, um... Yes, when you, uh, if they give that dreadful smell off, even if you wash it off, you can still smell it the next day on your skin. I suppose if you scrubbed and... <laughs> if you scrubbed and scrubbed with soap, you might uh, get rid of it completely. But it's a very strong smell. It's a sort of chemical smell. I don't know what you'd describe it as being like. Unpleasant. I don't mind them, but I don't like being, um, you know, I don't like being, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, <laughs> I don't like being bombed by this beetle. I don't. How close can we get? Come on. You're not going, you're not going anywhere. Back into the bowl. Aren't they lovely anyway? Aren't they beautiful? It's an Australian Bombardier beetle. I don't know if you have Bombardier beetles in other countries. I suppose you probably do. I don't know if it's a male or a female. I should film it in the sun as well so you can see how black it looks with the, but with the green sheen. I found one in an empty yogurt cup yesterday. I heard this noise. I thought, is that a mouse? But it turned out to be a Bombardier beetle. I hate the smell actually, it's horrible. Whoops. But it is a beautiful beetle, isn't it? I could give you a sting, I suppose. Or I could nip you. Let's see how close we can get to it anyway. I'll do a handheld shot in a minute. Very persistent. Oops. I'll do a handheld shot now anyway. And one in the sunshine. Here's a nice handheld shot of an Australian Bombardier beetle. I've got the lens quite close. Look at its beautiful little coat. I don't know if they can fly. They can certainly run around. Do I recall them flying? I don't know, maybe they half fly. They can certainly run around at high speeds. Especially at night time, they muck around in front of the light or, you know, they run all over the floor, or all over everything. I don't know what they're doing. You can't come up that way. That's quite a good close-up of its head, isn't it? For entomologists, is that what you're called? People who study beetles? There's its back feet, or claws, or whatever you'd like to call them. It's a bit like a chook, isn't it? It's got a little spur on its leg foot. Here it is out in the sunshine anyway and it generally looks black unless you see the sheen on it. Unless you see the sheen it generally looks black unless you see it with an angle, with the, uh, making the green. It's 
So I let it go now. I let it go now. Make one last movement, come on. For us. I'm getting tired of walking around. Oh, in a circle. I'll let you go then. Bye.